YouTube, what's going down? I had some free time right now, so I decided to make a video and just throw it up. Who cares if it's not Friday? So guys, Halloween is just around the corner. And if you know me, you know I have this really weird fascination with Halloween. And on top of that, I love horror movies. And it's like the perfect time of the year for that. What's awesome is that recently I've been like jonesing to go see this horror movie, House at the End of the Street, that comes out like this upcoming Friday on the 21st. What's awesome is that I was approached by someone on their team and they gave me this like exclusive clip to show on my channel. This movie looks terrifying and mildly sexy because the girl from Hunger Games I don't know what her name is, like Babyface Magoo, we'll call her. And basically what I know so far is like this girl moves in and the house at the end of the street has some fucking murdery shit going on. Check out this clip and if this does not scare you, I will scare you. There is absolutely no doubt that I'm going to see this movie. If you want to watch the full trailer, just find out more about the movie. Click right here, the annotation, and you can check it out. And uh, just, you know, help me get paid. <laughs> So guys, Halloween for me is extremely nerve-wracking because I hate it and I love it at the exact same time. I put so much pressure on myself to like have a really creative costume. It can't just be like creative, it has to be a costume like only like 30 people are gonna know. Because those are like the best costumes, the costumes that like someone sees you and has no idea what you are and the next guy's like, oh my god, you're Prison Mike from The Office. You're the chef from Wet Hot American Summer. You're Ignig Noggin Ur from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. All costumes that have been in the past. And I think this like jonesing to want to have a costume that no one really knows comes from a long time ago, back when I was a kid. When I was in fourth grade, all I wanted to be for Halloween was Wes, the bass player from Limp Biscuit. If you don't know who he is, just watch this video. I'm putting up the song Nookie in here and you can just get a little taste of nostalgia and get a feel for the inner weird workings of my brain. What sucked about that costume though is that one, no one knew who I was because it's not like I had a bass when I was in fourth grade. I just painted my face like him. And two, people who thought they knew who I were thought that I was like an insane clown posse member. I was barely allowed to listen to Limp Bizkit in fourth grade, let alone insane clown posse who just has shitty lyrics like, Magnets, what's up with those things? I don't know if that's the actual lyric, but it's something very close to that. What's interesting about Halloween is that my mom, who's like very, very, I guess like uptight's the word, but more like just scared for my life at all times. She would allow me to go out and walk the streets at night. How does that make any sense at all? Like allowing children just to walk around with their other friends by themselves unchaperoned while it's dark. If there's ever a time for a molester to be out scouting and snatch me up, this is the time when I'm completely unsupervised and in a costume so no one can identify me right away. But what blows my mind is that I recently found out that in some states on Halloween when you're out trick-or-treating, you don't have to tell a joke in order to get candy. You just walk up to the door and say, trick or treat. How insanely lazy is that? When I was a kid, we had to work for our candy. You were researching jokes and we didn't have the internet back then. We did, but it was like AOL 3.0 and that was a piece of shit. You had to go get joke books out of the library and start memorizing that shit. I remember getting in trouble that same fourth grade by an 80 year old woman who happened to be one of our neighbors for telling her this joke. Why is a schoolhouse red? If you had seven periods a day, you'd be red too. What, an 80 year old can't appreciate a period joke? The worst though is when you really were ready with an awesome joke and you got the house like didn't give out candy. It gave out like pencils and like pennies. So I wanted to throw those pennies back in their face. I deserve it. I'm not trick-or-treating for pennies and pencils. I can find that shit in my couch. Which is why I appreciate these college kids that happen to live in the neighborhood we trick-or-treated in. These guys were badass. They only gave out two things. Either got pennies or pencils or if you told them a joke they had never heard before you got a king-sized bag of Doritos and a two-liter of Mountain Dew. What was I to do? How was I to proceed? For years as a kid, I always told a joke that was too generic. They always knew it. But in fourth grade, I was ready. Walked into the door and was locked and loaded with this joke. Why is a pool table green? If your balls got racked around that much, you'd be green too. 
Is this thing on? They didn't laugh because it's not that hysterically funny, but they did give me the Mountain Dew and the Doritos. Fortunately, my mom was on the same page as me, and when I roll back with a two liter of Mountain Dew and Doritos, she ends up taking it and saying, you can't have it tonight. Bullshit, I earned that Mountain Dew. I'm gonna drink it whether I get grounded or not. And I got grounded. So that's really all I have to say about Halloween. I hope all you girls enjoy getting slutty and uncreative like you always do. Not all girls, but a lot of girls. I've seen too many naughty nurses in my life and I'm tired of it. But in the comments below, I need your help. I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm gonna be for Halloween. So in the comments, suggest some Halloween costumes for me and I'm gonna pick the best one and I'm going to be it. I'll take pictures for proof. Be sure to thumbs up this video. In the description, you can find my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There's a subscribe button up there too. If you haven't done that, you should do it. As always guys, I love you. I'm in love with you.